Hello everyone, welcome to PSP Commerce Project Tutorial for Beginner. In this tutorial, we are going to count the number of rows in the table and we are going to show those number in the dashboard. So here we are going to show the number of users we have, number of product we have over here. So for it, let's go back to our code and we will go to our admin folder and inside admin folder, here in NC we have admin page over here. And if we go down, here in case we have the sidebar and we have the text here. So I'm just going to remove this text from here. And I'm going to create a simple card design over here. So let me just say here D. And inside this tip, we're going to have few more D here. And let me mention another D. Let's say here user. Let's say here total users. After that, we're going to have a P tag. Inside this P tag, let's say here total user is 32. So for this div, let me mention a class. Let's say class name will be my underscore card. And for this, we need to mention a class and the class name will be card. Okay. So right now, let me just copy this and I'm going to paste it three times on two and three. So after total user, let's say here total product. Then we're going to say here total order. Then this one will be total delivered. So if you now save it, then if we now refresh it, it will look like this. So let's go and make it look like a car. So for it, let's go back. And first of all, let's go and write, and write some CSS for this my underscore car. So for it, we're going to go to our administrand.css. Let's just try to go down. And here we're going to set dot by car and do second bracket. Then do second bracket. And over here, we're going to say background color will be black after that we're going to say width it will be 200 and for it the text color will be let's say white if we now save it then refresh here so there you can see it will look like this so right now let's then add some padding and margin here so let's go back and we're going to say here padding it will be 10 bit then we'll set here margin it will be 10 pings. Save it again. Then refresh. And then you can see it will look like this. So right now, let me just keep those divs side by side instead of having those in a single line. So for it, let's go back and we'll go to our admin page.php. And here you can see we mentioned a class called car. So we're going to write some CSS for this. So let's go to our stride.css. And here we're going to say dot car. Then to second bracket, we're going to say here yeah, display, it will be flex. Then we'll say here yeah, justify content, it will be center. Then we'll say here yeah, align items, it will be center. And let's change the width to 300 pixel. Let's send this. Then let's go back to our browser. Then let me just refresh here. Then you can see it will look like this. So right now, let's just do one thing. That is, let's just give a single line over here. So for it, let's go back to our code. And here, after this total user, let me just send your HR. And let me just copy this. And after each title, I mean total border, total means what I'm going to keep this. So this will create a state white line here. Let me save it. Then refresh here and then get it to look like this. We can also add some padding after the H3 tag. So let me just say here dot my underscore card. Then we mention the H3 tag. Let me say get padding 10 bx. Save it. So right now let's go back to our browser. Let me refresh and it will look like this. So here you can see total user. So we want to get the total number of user over here from the database statement. So we want to count the number of total number of user we have over here. Then we'll count the total number of order from here. Okay. And then we'll show those over here. So for it, what we need to do is really simple. Let me just go back to our address base.php and right now we'll just go at the top. And here, first of all, let me just make a database connection here. Let's say here dollar con equal to it will be my SQL I underscore connect. We're going to make from the local host, comma it would be root, comma null. Then we're going to mention the database name, which is PSP underscore econ. 
so we are connected to the database after that here uh, inside this piece opening and music closing i'm going to write some sql query so let me just say here dollar user underscore sql equal to we say select star form we need to measure table name which is users then we are going to declare another variable let's say dollar u underscore result equal to we'll say here my sql i underscore query and then we'll give to file bracket and here where we to mention this database connection okay there's a comma here so i'm going to mention this database connection over here then give a comma then we'll mention this user underscore spin so right now we want to connect the number of row we have in the user table for it we need to say here let's declare a variable let's say total underscore user equal to we'll say here my spin i underscore number i num underscore rows then we give to five bracket and beside this we're going to give this u underscore result so right now if we just set this and here you can see in this total underscore user we have the total number of data we have in the user table right that product okay let me just put the user table so in the user table we have five user so the value of this total user will be five so here what we are doing is that we are getting all the data from the user table making a connection with the database then we are counting how many user we have in the user table and storing it in this variable so right now we just write to portal and here you can see we have total users so inside this p tag here we are going to give the psp opening then the psp closing and inside it we are going to say here depo then we'll say dollar total underscore user and this will be echo so let me just save it then if we now refresh here, then you can see it is showing us five. So the same way we can show the total product, total border, and total product deliver as well. So for it, expect on board. And again, we just take you at the top. And right now I can just copy this from here. Then I'm going to paste over here. So let me just say here total products. And let me just comment this out. So here in shop user SQL, let's say here product SQL and we say here select star form products, which is our table name. After that, here you can see u underscore result. We're going to say here p underscore result. And this will be product underscore SQL. Let me just copy this and I'm going to paste it over here. After that, this top total user, we're going to say here total product. And this will be uh, p underscore result over here inside this two page bracket so using this variable dollar product we will be able to get the number of columns we have in the product table so let's go down and we're going to say here okay i can just copy this from here paste it here and we can see here total underscore product let me save it then refresh okay i made a mistake here or uh, in this copy control z uh, over here we need to say it request save refresh and there you can see total number of quota against six so right now let's get the total number of order we have in the order table there you can see we have the order table so we are going to get the total number of order so for it again let's get the top i can just copy this and paste it here i'm going to say here total orders and here this will be we are going to say here order underscore sql we are going to say select star form orders it will be o underscore result and this will be order underscore sql this will be total order and this will be one underscore result. Let's save it. Let's go down. Let me just pop in this and I'm going to paste it over here. We're going to see here total underscore order. Save. Then refresh. I can see it is showing us 60. 
So right now we want to get the total number of order delivered from here from the orders so here you can see we have only a few product deliver most of them is is in progress so right now in order to get the total number of order delivered we're going to do the same thing but this will be any different so here we're going to say total daily merge and we're going to say here daily merge Let's just say here deliver SQL and we're going to say yes, select star from orders. Then we'll say fire and then we're going to mention the status. Here you can see status. We're going to say here status equal to we'll give to single position and we're going to look then here the status is delivered. Right, so let me just copy this from here. And I'm just going to paste cover here. So this will be T underscore razor. And let me just copy this. Paste it here. And this will be total deliver. Let's say total deliver. And this will be D underscore razor, which is this one. So right now, uh, I can just actually go down. And uh, let me just copy this. Then paste it here. We are going to set total underscore Kenny Parch. Save. Then refresh. I can see total deliver is 3. And I think there should be space among the white line and the number. So for it, uh, here it is inside the P deck. Right? And P deck is inside my card. So I am going to send here dot my underscore card. Then mention the pin then we are going to send that the color will be let's say yellow and we are going to send that padding will be 10 So let's send this. Let's go to our browser, refresh, and there you can see the text is yellow right now. And we are able to see all the users for the total deliver and total order and total deliver. So this is how you can show the data, number of columns or rows we have in the database table and show it over here i hope this was easy for you to follow if you have any question or suggestion just let me know in the comment section be sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials